there is no way you can do this. You're gonna fail and you are gonna fall flat on your face and everybody's gonna know that you failed. There will always be people who are more successful than you. Success isn't for you, it's for other people. It's kind of brutal words, right? Like things that you would never say to somebody else, yet continually we say them to ourselves on a daily basis. And in this video of our 30 part series, I'm going to talk about the challenge of overcoming self doubt because it it's a challenge. You know, we talked about the external challenges that we face and oh, well, we can make a SWOT analysis for those and we can set goals for those and this is how we can overcome that. But sometimes what's happening internally here is even more of a challenge to overcome than those external challenges. Internal challenges are harder to overcome than the external ones. How do we fix our thoughts? So if we don't overcome this self-doubt, these thoughts, if we don't like take control and fix them, we will never grow beyond where we're at now. It goes back to the limited mindset. Like you're limited. Those, that self-doubt, it limits you, it caps you. I do not want to be capped because of my own self-doubt. I don't want to be capped because I'm the one who told myself I can't do it. I don't want to do that to myself. And I know you don't want to do it to yourself either. And you know, I've heard from, I've heard from people like, how do I overcome self-doubt? How do I, how, this imposter syndrome, what do I do to overcome this so I can actually feel like I'm supposed to be here and I'm supposed to be doing this. And so the first thing that you have to do to overcome is identify. And you can apply this to any area of your life, business or personal. You know, this is a big thing for fitness. You know, for me personally, I did the things that we're gonna talk about is I caught myself saying, I can't do this. You are never, you're just, this is how you're gonna look. This is how you're gonna feel the rest of your life. You are always gonna be self-conscious. You, you will never do this. You will never be able to do it. They can do it. They can be successful, but you're not disciplined enough. So you won't be able to do this, Melody. This is not for you. So you might as well just accept your reality. And so once I went through the process, identified those thoughts, I could start to fix them. And I started telling myself, no, I can do this. I can, I can do this. I can do this. I am disciplined. I am capable. I, and I, I realized that I was limiting myself just with, by my own thinking and my own thoughts. I was the, I was the one telling myself that I couldn't do it. So the fir but the first thing I had to do was identify the thoughts. And so that's what I want you to do. I want you to actually pin, pin and paper, uh, phone, sometimes pin and paper is more powerful. You know, it, it just, it just hits different. And I want you to write down your thoughts for a day, for a day. Okay. This is not like a week long process. I just want you to take a day, 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. Heck, it might only take 12 hours. Like it might not even take that long for you to identify these thoughts, but I want you to start writing down good thoughts and bad thoughts. I'm not good at this or wow. I did a really great job. <laughs> I did a really great job on that session. That was, that was really good. Okay. Awesome. I'm awesome. So write down the good thoughts and then write down the holy crap. I can't do this thoughts like write down the good and the bad. And you're going to start to see patterns. Like whenever I look back at my thought audit that I did, I'm like, Ooh, can we just burn that? I cannot believe I read them back to myself. And I'm like, I cannot believe I thought myself. I thought, I thought that about myself. It's really terrible. And so it really puts it into perspective, these thoughts of, oh my gosh, I really thought that about myself. I really told myself that. It just puts it into a whole new perspective. So conduct a thought audit, take inventory of all of your thoughts. And now, like I shared in the story, we're gonna fix those thoughts. We're gonna take those thoughts and we're going to fix them. Okay, so I went from a, I can't do this. I will never be successful. I will never be disciplined enough to just simply telling myself, I can do this. You know what? I didn't, I didn't necessarily take action that day on, I can do this. I'm going to exercise. I can do this. I'm going to whatever. It simply started just with my thoughts. I just started fixing my thoughts. Once I fixed my, started to fix my thoughts, I could actually start to fix my habits. And this is not like, um, like 
you're just going to think yourself to success or you're going to think yourself rich or you're going to think yourself successful like or you know you don't have any challenges you're perfect you just have to tell yourself you're perfect you know you don't need to take feedback from anybody you just need to tell yourself that you're good and you will be good no that's not what this is about because sometimes we like we've shared we do need to take feedback we do need to listen to feedback and there are areas that we can improve on like we talked about in our SWOT analysis right there's areas that we can improve on. So that's not saying like that. This is not like glazing over those and being like, I don't need to work on those because I'm amazing. I'm just going to tell myself I'm amazing. And then everybody will see how amazing I am. That is not what I'm talking about at all. I'm, we are talking about that negative self talk and that self doubt. I hope you guys, I hope you can see the difference. Okay. So once you identify them, then you can start to fix them. So how do we then continue to cultivate these positive thoughts? Because I don't know about you. I want to think things about, I want to think about things that are good. I want to think about things that I'm thankful for. Like, I don't want my mind living in the gutter because honestly, what's in here comes out. Have you noticed that? What's in here comes out. And... I want what is coming out of me to be good and fruitful. And, and so in order to do that, I've got to fix what's going on up here. And I can't just keep telling myself I can't do that. I can't do that. Like that's not good for my kids. It's not good for my family. It's not good for the community. It's not good for the people around me if I just sit here and constantly tell myself I can't. So I want to fix, I want to fix it. So to cultivating this and to continue working towards positive is of course we've talked about this is surrounding yourself with a positive community. I'm not just talking about like an online community. I'm just talking about the people around you. Make sure you've got life, people who are speaking life to you around you. Okay. So the other thing that you can do to cultivate this is again, celebrate your accomplishments. Okay. Whenever you start to celebrate your accomplishments and even, you know, keeping a gratitude journal or writing daily what you're thankful for, those things can help you replace that negative self-talk, right? And you can actually see, oh my gosh, you can do this because look at all of that you have accomplished. Look at how far you have come, okay? And so whenever you kind of see how far you've come, you can be like, dude, what is stopping me from keep moving forward? So cultivate it by community cultivate it by celebrating successes, cultivate it by writing down what you are thankful for. Now, another aspect of this is, you know, sometimes we have learning moments, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn and really embracing and understanding that those are learning moments. It's not failure is really important to fixing and cultivating those thoughts okay whenever you can look and say nope this is a learning moment this is what i'm going to learn from this instead of being like you're a failure you know that's how i tend to jump to that i i jump to that i'm a failure they're going to reject me like that's my fear we all have this underlying fear right and so instead of jumping there i say okay what can i learn from this so that is a way that i have fixed those thoughts in moments where i do need to learn a lesson right because i'm not perfect i'm not going to get it right and so instead of telling myself i have failed i ask myself what can i learn in this moment and that has helped cultivate those thoughts so to kind of recap the way that we overcome is first take inventory and identify those thoughts and then we're going to fix those thoughts and then we're going to continue to cultivate those thoughts and work on it daily by surrounding ourselves with people who are going to speak life to us by celebrating our accomplishments by continually daily being thankful looking around us and being thankful and then seeing moments of opportunity to learn instead of moments of failure Mm, those are learning lessons those are learning moments and so that for me is how I have been able to work through self-doubt and I hope that you can take these tools and start fixing your thoughts too because let me tell you friend there is so much more for you than you even know than you can even realize and the only thing that's holding you back is you 
And so I want you to get out of your way and I want you living at your fullest potential because I believe that everybody has been called to do something. I believe everybody has a job to do. So make sure you're doing it well. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video.